Good morning. This harvest routine seems a little bit overwhelming right now, but I know as soon as we get going, it won't take long to get back into the groove. We need to undo everything that we did at home. We need to unload the combine, unload the header, um, get ready to cut wheat this afternoon because we will be cutting wheat. green trailer is unhooked and while we're here the peat generally sits still and Frank and I do the hauling so I didn't even bother with taking banners off of the truck no point in it that big yellow beast will come off of the trailer that's the next thing Since we don't be using the peat, we're just trying to find spots to put this to keep it out of the way once all of the activity gets started. So we're just about done getting things stationed to where they need to be for the next week or so. And then once we do that, we'll focus on combine and getting that ready because in about 45 minutes, Grant from Kiowa County Media Center will be here to put the combine cam in the cab. And as typical, it's hot and muggy. It seems like every time he does that for us, it's that way. But that's perfect for cutting wheat conditions. And that's what we need. Those are the three pieces that we'll be focused on next, because those are the three that will be used. So do you have like a gauge to judge that or just how it feels? Nope, got a gauge. I loosen it over the winter. I didn't get it caught in time. He told me he's going to back this up to the job trailer and we're going to throw what's inside of the Freightliner on to the deck of the job trailer. That's next. Got Grant in 
installing the combine cam. Jim's getting shields put on so we can get busy here in a few hours. Grant came out this morning to install the combine cam. If you want to catch a glimpse of what's going on in the field, ride along with Jim in the cab. I'll have the address listed in the description that's below the video. Well, the bend's going up. Next will be the header. And we'll be ready to go. And have I mentioned it's hot? I mean, like, really hot? It's hot here. Typically the first day of weed harvest is filled with stress and bugs to work out, so that's been something that we've been doing with the computer, getting things figured out all over again.
pallets there are? Okay. Okay, no, that's fine. Yeah, come up eight. Come up eight. Uh, we figured out what our problem was too. What was yours? It was it was not connected to the correct satellite, so we had to go and disable satellite. Re oh, you guys never did the That's what they said, though. They said that it was something that the dealership should have done uh, in May. We never did, had to do it to ours, but there was a couple of guys that had to do it because they, I don't know, somebody disabled a satellite and added a new one. Oh. Like they so we phased had to, it out. So or we whatever. had to like disable 138 and put it on 135. Uh, yeah, I don't remember what the number is, but yeah, that's what you had to do. <laughs> I remember seeing the flyer on it. Well, we didn't see the flyer, so Jim was stressed. <laughs> that's him. But he's got auto steering. He's got auto steer now. He'll be happy. I'm probably going to be full, right? Yep. Okay. First load headed to Chase. Me and Frank. Hopefully we have no issues. At least we won't have to have any sort of computer issues with this old truck. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. So this is the inside of the what the elevator looks like. We get a lot of the outside and the guys that do the work outside, but we never get inside people very often. So maybe you can show me the process again at some point. Well, that was like, it never ended. I suppose a lot like getting on a bike and just riding again. So I'm back in the field waiting for the next load. And while I'm here, I'll tell you just a little bit about what the specifics were on that last load. So I had 600 bushels on this little guy, a little bit more than what Jim likes to hold, but we're just getting started. So things will all get figured out. And the test weight is 61.4. Moisture is 1110, plenty dry. Next time the grain cart comes, I'm pretty sure I'll be full again. And we'll just keep growing. The next time I go into the elevator, 
we're going to take a little bit of time because there's not a whole lot of people cutting it and go through the process of what happens when a truck comes into the elevator. I tried to explain to you as I was going in that I get on the scale and I weigh loaded and I dump and then I weigh unloaded and that tells how many bushels were on the truck as far as the weight goes. There's 60 pounds per bushel. So the truck weighed 57.7 when it was fully loaded and empty it was 21.1. So we had a net of 36.5. Divide that by 60 pounds and that comes up to a little more than 600 bushel. So that's how they figure out how many bushels are on the truck. Now what are you doing? I'm going to shake it. And why are you shaking it? Find the foreign All the matter. foreign matter? Yep. All the junk. How long does this take? A couple minutes. And it goes through several layers? Point two. Oh, point two. Okay. Point two. Good deal. Yep. Okay, now I head over there and get dumped, and then I come back and visit again. Milo planting is just barely getting started here. Why, you might ask? Because all it's done is rain middle of May. So they're struggling to get harvest started and planting finished.
for. And what was your other instructions about how you want to cut this tonight? Just shall I just start working uh, what? south where you cut through? You can cut all the way to where I cut through, and then we're going to stay on the south side of where I cut through. That little corner, everything there to the north of that, I might want to take a little seed off of there at another time. We're just going to stay on this tonight, and then tomorrow I think right away we're going to move to over over to a further away field. 10-4, and you said number 4. Yes, number 4. 10-4. Mosquitoes are horrible, absolutely horrible here. So if you come to the field, you better be prepared with lots and lots of bug spray. We'd like to know that. And be sure to hit the subscription button and the bell notification so that you know when the next video is up and ready to watch. Thank you and we're so glad you're along with us for the journey.